I offer these every week, along with a short teaching. Just click the subscribe link below to be notified through YouTube when I post the recording of the latest one. Or if you'd like to join me live, which I'd really welcome, go down into the description section below and follow the link along to be able to sign up for free. So find a posture that is comfortable and alert. And settle in to meditating. Kind of own and claim and decide that you are meditating until 35 minutes past the hour. Choose it, claim it, land in it. To begin with, just take some time here to connect at the heart with what we're doing. Uh, find your own meanings for my words. Uh, I bring to mind people I care about and I relate my practice here to them. We meditate, we practice for ourselves we also do it for the sake of others so that we can grow and become easier to live with and work with and be with. And also so that maybe in mysterious ways, the fruits of our own practice will benefit other beings. In the heart, you might also find a sense of being thankful for the many, many beings who have offered uh, wisdom throughout the ages, uh, which is moving through us all here. Kind of a felt sense of connection with many, many beings who have looked inside and been engaged in practice. We're connected with them. You might have a sense of those teachings and traditions and transmissions moving through you, carrying you along like currents or waves deeper and deeper into practice here. Okay, if you're comfortable with this, bring attention to your own body. Otherwise, you might like to focus awareness on the room you're in, or perhaps on a word or image or feeling, perhaps a feeling like gratitude or kindness. 
with regard to your body, just let awareness move through it in whatever way you like. I tend to like moving down from my head, eventually landing in a sense of grounding in my feet. This is a way to come home to the body and through attention to sensations, including increasingly disengaging from busyness and internal verbal chatter. Setting that aside with a focus on the body. It's okay if thoughts come and go, or it's okay if you get distracted a little bit, just come on back and let those thoughts come and go without following after them. Letting your attention, letting your awareness sink more and more deeply into an object of attention that helps to steady your mind, such as I'm saying here, the sense of your own body. Now, as your mind becomes gradually steadier, as you settle in increasingly to a stability of presence, in the present, you can allow and even gently encourage your mind to become quieter. And to have growing feelings of openness. Perhaps a growing sense of vastness opening in all directions. You can find yourself in a growing feeling of simply being, being, letting go of doing, what a relief, letting go of becoming, what a relief, simply in the present, simply being. breath after breath, exploring what this is like.
in support of simply being. You can be aware of breathing in the lower belly, sensations there. On the next breath, be aware of the sensations of breathing in the area of the solar plexus, the diaphragm, just under the rib cage. You might deliberately take a large breath or two with a long exhalation while being aware of sensations in your diaphragm. And as you are aware of breathing in the area of your diaphragm, just explore your own mind a bit to see if there's any little bit of anxiety floating around, any little bit of uneasiness, nervousness, worry. And see if you can release it, gently encourage it to let go while being aware of breathing in the area of your diaphragm. You might find that it's possible to receive the next moment continuously without any sense of anxiety. You can also now shift awareness to the area of your heart as you breathe, resting in being. sensations of breathing in the area of your heart.
And as you're aware of breathing in the area of your heart, you can contact heartfelt feelings, perhaps compassion, kindness, friendliness, love. Flowing out and also flowing in for you in natural, simple ways. Caring about others, others caring about you. And see if you can find a sense that's independent of specific relationships. A sense of your own fundamental good heart, your own fundamental innate, innate goodness. Cannot be lost, yet often found. Let's just take a little time here. Can you access a felt sense of something that's inherently good in you? Perhaps a kind of universal innate goodness or simply just your own particular sweetness. Can you find this? And if you do, can it help you settle down and feel strong and confident as you move through life? If you cannot find the sense of innate goodness, it's okay. Uh, That's normal for many, many people initially. And just try again or try again in the future because your goodness is truly innate. It's a fact. And so uh, you're not creating it. You're getting in touch with it. And if you do start to have a sense of your own innate true nature, your own natural goodness, see if you can let the sense of it spread throughout your body, including into your arms and legs.
This is an innate goodness that can include the recognition of mistakes, it can include aspects of yourself that are not so good, it's all right. Can you find and feel a kind of field or energy or quality in you that is innately good? And you might like to explore what could feel like a spooky, scary step of actually claiming, owning your innate goodness and identifying with it. Even maybe risking saying gently to yourself, deep down, I am innately good and seeing what that feels like. You could also explore what it's like to mingle a sense of goodness, lovingness, and vastness. Moving beyond the words here to the feeling of this as it is alive for you, however it is, in some combination vastness, lovingness, goodness. And using this, the sense of this, as your meditation object in the remaining time here, becoming increasingly absorbed in whatever is real for you as vastness, lovingness, and goodness. as the sense of this, this combination becomes increasingly established in you. Beyond the words, enjoy.
you could explore the sense that vastness, lovingness, and goodness, one or all of these, the sense that these are not separate from you, that you're observing kind of over there. You could even explore, if you can find it, the sense of um, that your identity, who you are, is vastness, goodness, and lovingness. And what might this experience be like? You are goodness, lovingness, and vastness. What's this feel like? Thank you.